say a 17-year-old girl escaped from this home Sunday with a cell phone and called for help. She told them her 12 siblings were being held captive by their parents. The children were that is crazy. investigators described as dark and foul-smelling conditions. Some found shackled to the bed and malnourished. The youngest is two, the oldest, 29. Authorities arrested 56-year-old David Allen Turpin, a former MLS, <coughs> and his wife, 49-year-old Louise That's Patterson. crazy. Neighbors on Muir Road in Paris, a community in the Inland Empire, say they only saw some of the children in the past few years. The boy who looked like he was, I thought, 13. The girl and two girls. And once or twice, I saw the infant. Kimberly Milligan lives across the street. She says she tried to speak with them once, but they seemed frightened and immediately pretended they were invisible. You can't see me. I'm not here. They just stopped talking. They just stopped. Like, we were talking to no one. It's, it's sad. It's really sad that that stuff happened. Marissa Valdez was a few doors down. I'm surprised there were 13 people there. Like, I didn't even know that. I thought they had, like, three kids. They're small. They're, they didn't, like, they didn't try to communicate with other people. They weren't looking around. They would look down. But many didn't consider this a warning sign of the horrific situation that investigators describe. Guilt. I think you can't help but feel that. Now, the Turpins are expected to face felony counts of child endangerment and torture. Bail is set at $9 million, and the children were taken to hospitals for treatment. Reporting in Paris, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Elsewhere, a speeding driver loses control, hits the car. Oh, my God. Somehow crashing into the second floor of a dental office, and the whole thing was caught on camera. Mary Beth McDade live in Santa Ana tonight with some unbelievable video. MB.